We're back now with our uh, wonderful, noted, award-winning guest, Ed Asner. And in this segment, we're talking about the Lou Grant Show. And as a muckraking show, uh, it attacks social problems. And it's sort of like, uh, I don't know, real-life newspapers used to do that. Mm. And you're sort of a muckraker yourself. You're sort of active in, in things. And I love muck. <laughs> That's right. Show me that muck. Do you think this, the show helped to make a difference? Seriously. Well, I know it did. Uh, the best example I can give you is uh, we uh, we showed a uh, we had a show on dog fighting, <clears throat> and it helped uh, change laws in you know four or five states. This is the late seventies now, right? Yeah, it uh, it didn't stop Michael Vick, but uh, uh, yeah. it uh, it did help in other states. And as long as we could show a positive result like that. You know, Ford and Oscar Mayer, I read that Ford and Oscar Mayer threatened to pull out as sponsors one time when you were doing a show on abuses at nursing homes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How did that resolve itself? I mean, you still did the show. and There were people standing in line ready to take their place. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, I believe they even threatened, uh, they were, they were uh, signed on to pay for so many commercials, and they refused to do that. And then it, I believe the network said, you're still going to pay for it. Yeah. It seems silly for them to want to do that at the time. But speaking of silliness, a lot of people misunderstood your involvement with trying to get medical aid and humanitarian aid to El Salvador. All of a sudden, and this is when you're doing Lou Grant, and the show is great in the ratings, and you're everybody's favorite actor, and almost overnight, the newspapers and the media get it wrong, and everybody thinks Ed Asner's a communist. No. And basically all you were doing is trying to get medical supplies to, to uh, folks in El Salvador. And trying to get, you know, public opinion turned against this government for keeping the government in power who sponsored death squads going around killing, turning, you know, what they eventually did was turn the peasants into communists yeah. because they kept killing them because they didn't support the government that well. Right. Uh, it was an evil government with its death squads. They killed nuns. They killed priests. Uh, but uh, the media control in this country uh, let it be uh, considered as a communist move on my part. It kind of kind of stupid that, the, and we had some good journalists there, Sam Donaldson and some other people, but they all just got it wrong. I mean, they were using well, snippets. I've, I've of seen Sam Donaldson full of crap before. Uh, the, the question, though, is that you're doing this great hit show. You, everybody loves you as an actor, and 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 yet when you embarked on this campaign to do uh, humanitarian aid, did you have any inkling that that was going to start a firestorm? I'm I'm cleaning that up. I could have used stronger language, yeah. or or what? Uh, absolutely not. I uh, uh, I got tired of, of sitting in the wings and not letting somebody complain about our government keeping that government in power, not letting the people uh, have their will, our government trying to influence it. And we do it all the time. And they now. still do. I've, I've, you know, I've sold out on, on changing this government no matter who's in power. Well, when we go and invade the wrong country into Iraq, yeah. and, and the same thing. Here's my question on this. It's like nothing changes. 30 years later from your crusade, if somebody criticized the Bush administration for, for going into Iraq, they said you're, on, you're not patriotic. Yeah, yeah, well, so has anything changed? No, and they can go to hell and I'll be unpatriotic if that's what you want. Uh, where where are our people when they're given when when by hook or crook somehow the the truth slips out they realize it's a totally unprovoked war in Iraq right and yet they 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 accept the fact that it's justified that we're there we're losing men uh, how many Iraqis have been killed since? Five hundred thousand, I think. Uh, I'm sure it's closer to a million. A lot of people say, "Wait a minute, uh, Mr. Asner, uh, you're, you're great on screen, but we don't like actors." Uh, I know. I, I, you know, I, I I shouldn't be saying anything political, but my my guts won't let me keep my mouth shut. So if you, you know, I'm I've paid the price already. My show got canceled, and uh, I I suffered a blacklist for a while. Maybe still do. Well, great. Oh, I'm paying the price, so uh, uh, if I'm willing to do it, then uh, I don't need to be uh, pushed back. 